It's the lion's den. You want to develop an effective, fervent prayer life? Know the God that Daniel knows before you go in to where you're going into that throne room, where you're going into your prayer closet. Know that God and then go in expecting power when you come out. Let's bow. Most gracious and heavenly Father, God, we do thank you that power does come from you. We thank you for the privilege of being able to communicate with you. And our prayer time is just our communicating with you, Father, because not only are you good, not only should we be worshiping you, but we have access because of what Jesus did. We have access because he took our sins upon himself. We have access because he told us to use his name and to come boldly before your throne. But not only that, Father, we're praying to you, we're communicating to you you because of what Christ has allowed us access into, but we do it in partnership with the Holy Spirit. We do it knowing that we've got an advocate that is going to be there when we can't say the words. He puts the words in the right places at the right time with the right things on our hearts, God. He changes the motives that need to be there in order to get done what you would have done so that we would be fruitful in going forward. Thank you, Lord for this wonderful privilege. Thank you, God, for the experiences that we are now thinking about as we reminisce and look at the movie screen of our life. We see where you have been in the midst of it all, where you've set our character, where the settings were by others to destroy us, but you delivered us. We see that in the midst of it all, we had the opportunity to rest and not be frustrated, strained, or struggled. Because Lord, you gave us your grace. You provided mercy. You showed your goodness and your faithfulness in the midst of it all. God, we bless you. God, we bless you. That when we look back over our life and we think things over, we can say that we are truly blessed we have a testimony. There is no one like you. Great is your faithfulness. You have always, always been faithful. Your goodness, surely your goodness and your mercy will follow us all the days of our life. We just want to dwell in your house forever, oh God. So we come today asking that you clean us up yet again, that you strengthen us for the rest of the journey, that you pour more anointed oil upon our heads, oh God, that we may then be prepared for the fight, that we may then be consecrated to you, that we may walk in the excellence in which you would have for us to do, that yes, 99 and a half won't do. We want to get to the end, but we want to bring others with us. We want them to testify of your goodness too. We want to bring glory, honor, and praise to your name as we worship you today, as we thank you today, as we magnify you today. There is no one like you, oh God. Bless your wonderful name. Bless your wonderful name. Oh, bless your wonderful name. In Jesus name we do pray, asking for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, asking you, oh God, to reveal what lies before us, asking for direction and for guidance, asking, oh God, for strength, oh God, asking for to be rescued, asking to be delivered, asking to see before, asking for you to reveal, asking, oh God, we come asking that we walk in our true purpose and our true calling. We ask, oh God, we ask for your supernatural strategies, for your miracle working power. We ask and we thank you and we bless you and we worship you. It's in Jesus' wonderful name that we do pray and give you thanks. Amen. Well, God bless each and every one of you. It is truly my privilege. <laughs> it is truly my privilege to watch the scene of your life and to watch the scene of mine in the rear view mirror to say, look at how God did that. I'm Dr. Shante Haynes with Heart to Heart Truth Ministries, helping you put feet to your faith so that you can walk victoriously. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day.
God bless. You can find us online at h the number two h truth.org. At Heart to Heart Truth Ministries, we're helping believers live an abundant life based on God's word, standing on his promises, walking out his principles, sharing with God's people, serving as unto the Lord.